The Incheon International Airport Phase 3 development project, intended to prepare for increasing air transport demands and to enhance the role of a Northeast Asian hub airport, will soon be completed in 2017, having started in 2009. With a budget of 4.9 trillion won, the new terminal will cover 110.5 square kilometers, with the terminal building itself occupying 35 square kilometers. Facilities will include passenger terminal space, as well as expansion of other existing infrastructure, such as a passenger and cargo apron, as well as connecting transportation facilities. The characteristics of the three-phase construction project can best be described as convenient connecting transports and green eco-smart airport. To provide convenient connecting transports, first, public transportation such as buses and trains have been integrated into the airport. Second, the first and second terminal is connected through both roads and railways. Third, an easy-to-use transfer system will be established. Also, in order to provide a unique airport image, an eco-friendly and energy-saving technology was used with an overarching design, utilizing traditional Korean-style structure. Upon completion of the third phase construction project, the Incheon International Airport will be able to handle 72 million passengers and 5.8 million tons of cargo annually, up from the current capacity of 54 million passengers and 4.5 million tons. With over 1,000 daily flights, the Incheon International Airport is expected to become the hub airport in the Northeast Asian region. We will now look at the overview of the facilities. First, let us look at the passenger and cargo aprons. With an additional 56 passenger aprons to be built during the third phase construction project, the airport will have a total of 111 attached aprons and 59 remote aprons. Cargo aprons will increase to 57, de-icing aprons to 23, and maintenance and miscellaneous aprons to 15. Another characteristic of the third phase construction project is the introduction of multi-aircraft ramping system, or MARS. MARS is a type of apron allocating system where two small aircraft can be allocated to a single apron meant for larger aircraft. With this system, the airport will be able to utilize its apron capacity more efficiently. For instance, Five Code F aprons may be used for 10 Code C aprons, allowing optimal utilization of aprons, an important factor considering potential changes to the size of aircraft in the future. For instance, five Code F aprons may be used for 10 Code C aprons, allowing optimal utilization of aprons, an important factor considering potential changes in the size of aircraft in the future. Now let us look at the passenger terminal. The second passenger terminal will utilize cutting-edge, eco-friendly technology to ensure energy conservation. In addition, the latest ICT technology has been applied to provide passengers with quick and convenient airport experience. Vista-wise, the new terminal will feature a traditional Korean-style roof architecture, showing off the beauties of the Korean culture to foreign passengers. Another feature of the new terminal is the enhanced shopping experience. The passengers will enjoy centralized commercial facilities, allowing easy access to various amenities and shopping centers. The efficient layout not only increases the passenger's convenience, but the focus on concentrating major pathways through transfer clusters will ensure faster and more convenient transfers between flights. In short, the proven advantages of the current operation system will be maximized, while the utilization of latest technologies to maximize the impression of vertical spacing will make sure the passengers are comfortable and have easy access to various facilities. Accessibility to facilities is another strength of the new terminal. A new exclusive motorway will be laid from the entrance of the airport to the new terminal, with access times expected to take about nine minutes. This is similar to the access times for the existing passenger terminal. 
The new motorway will have four interchanges and will be up to eight lanes wide, allowing easy access to the terminal. A four-lane road connecting Terminal 1 and 2 will also be laid to increase passenger convenience and accessibility. In addition to the new motorways, accessibility by train will also be expanded. Passengers will be able to arrive at the new terminal within two and a half hours from anywhere in Korea through KTX and airport railroads through expansions in railways. The distance between the train station and the terminal has been minimized to 59 meters, allowing quick access to departure halls. Numerous escalators and elevators will provide convenient vertical movement within the terminal, and nearby bus stops will complement trains. Finally, with only five minutes transit time between the first and second terminals, moving between terminals will be much less of a hassle. Plans are afoot to also develop the nearby areas in the vicinity of the terminal, including integrated resorts, casinos, and theme parks, either under construction or planned to commence construction in the near future. With the current trend of large-scale hub airports serving as a focal point of an air city or an air tropolitan to increase flight demand and maximize financial benefits, the Incheon International Airport has plans to follow suit to become an air city in its own right. Finally, in addition to the previously mentioned airport facilities, a total of 30 ancillary facilities will be established. In particular, a control tower at the second apron will increase the overall safety. Also, a second airport office building and a hotel will be built landside to improve airport efficiency as well as economic benefits. In regard to airport management systems, the airport utilizes numerous high-tech systems through ubiquitous technique. This includes 45 integrated information systems including self-check-in kiosks, smart entry service and parking systems, and mobile application service. The third phase plan also includes the latest IT technologies, artificial intelligence, and big data technology to realize a smart airport. From the moment of arrival at the airport, the entire departing procedure is automated. This includes a self-zone with self-check-in and a self-bag drop areas. In addition, this process is monitored electronically and an automated immigration system allows for quick and efficient arrivals and departures. Security check is generally the step where delays are most likely to occur and is thus difficult to improve. However, the airport is in the process of developing a smart security check system to be integrated into the airport system in the future. Congestion is often observed in airports, especially the larger ones. During peak, the proceedings can become rather chaotic and delays are frequent, leading to customer dissatisfaction. Through U-boards and U-signage, the Incheon International Airport provides customized directions and contents to reduce congestion and to improve the airport experience. U-boards and U-signage are part of the Integrated Passenger Traffic Management System which directs traffic and offers updated information to ensure a safe and convenient procedure. The Baggage Handling System, or BHS, is one of the more important systems at an airport. The Incheon International Airport's BHS management is done through scientific operations and innovative techniques, with on-time baggage unloaded rate of 0.0011%, which is one-sixth of U.S. airports and one-fourteenth of European airports. This rate is the best of its kind among all airports worldwide. We will now look at airport safety and security. With increasing concerns of terrorism resulting in reduced passengers and more strict security checks causing inconvenience, the Incheon International Airport has a unique security plan in place. With comprehensive training, close cooperation, and frequent drills, the airport makes every effort to ensure safe and secure facilities. 
To complement such efforts, the airport's security systems employ the latest technology and customized devices. Also, the ICN Council for Counterterrorism ensures that the airport is always ready for any acts of aviation terrorism. The Security Center is one such example of the airport's security monitoring system. Utilizing state of the art imaging technology, any abnormal behaviors or suspicious objects are automatically monitored and detected. As mentioned before, the Incheon International Airport is the first airport to win the Aviation Service Quality Assessment 12 years in a row and has grown to become a focal hub airport in Northeast Asia. With the name of Incheon International Airport becoming a worldwide brand, Many airport management personnel around the world desire to benchmark Incheon's success, with numerous countries requesting advice from Korea in airport establishment and management. This e-learning course is also in response to such a request. To ensure convenient and high-quality service for customers, the Incheon International Airport has invested significant resources in financial services, internet businesses, medical facilities, and other amenities. The airport also provides fast-track service for the elderly, disabled, children, or pregnant women to reduce waiting time at immigration desks. Let us now look at how the Incheon International Airport was able to become an airport with the best service in the world. As the primary international airport in Korea, a concentrated effort was made for the airport to become a cultural port rather than a transit point. With a variety of cultural events, including classical music and K-pop concerts, and traditional events, including the Royal Procession, and exhibitions and experiences such as the Korean Culture Street, museums, and galleries, the Incheon International Airport offers a unique cultural experience. The U-Cyber Terminal mobile app provides airport guidance and other handy information, including arrival, departure, and transfer through mobile devices. Booking services for hotels, transport, and restaurants are also available through the app to provide one-stop travel convenience. In addition, the airport employs Internet of Things, or IoT, technology to analyze passengers' path and waiting time to offer an optimal route to destination. This minimizes congestion as well as improving the efficiency of passenger handling process and overall service quality. Together with Wi-Fi access and sensors to check temperature and humidity, the IoT is also used to automatically maintain the environment within the facility. The airport also offers a capsule hotel, the first of its kind in Korea, for transfer passengers and those who depart or arrive at inconvenient times. Application of IoT to the hotel allows for reservation, check-in, and check-outs through mobile devices, as well as light, temperature, and volume control, also adjustable through personal mobile devices. The Incheon International Airport employs top-notch navigational aids, to maintain the highest quality on its runways, the airport is rated Category 3, which requires high-efficiency instruments, including landing systems, aeronautical lights and aerial beacons, and ground collision avoidance systems, among others. Also, the Airport Terminal Information System and the Omnidirectional Radio Range Facility has been upgraded using state-of-the-art technology to ensure zero-accident seamless operations. During the third phase construction project, an additional ramp control tower will be installed to safely manage landing and takeoff flights. A newly installed high-tech radar and upgraded systems allow for automated surveillance system and Mode S, a one-to-one -one data networking system between aircraft and air traffic control system, enables ground-side control center to collect 11 different types of flight data, such as actual aircraft speed, 
This provides an additional layer of safety while guiding aircraft. Multilateration, or MLAT, aircraft localization enables automation, enhanced surveillance, risk detection, and improved functions for aircraft in safety, using runways and taxiways even in adverse weather conditions. Airport Collaborative Decision Making, or ACDM, shares mooring time information to forecast operating time, as well as manage target time, leading to shorter waiting times, improved safety, reduced fuel consumption, and mitigated air pollution. Now, let's look at the various emergency facilities at the airport. The airport fire service consists of 208 firefighters and 23 fire engines, and has the capacity to arrive on the scene within three minutes. Bird strike can cause significant accidents if left untended. The airport has its own anti-bird strike team and manages potential aviary habitats in the vicinity of the airport to prevent possible bird strikes. To ensure continued airport operation, the Incheon International Airport has established new generation power monitoring system. Power capacity is monitored nonstop to prevent any possible breakdowns, and the airport's power supply is structured in a way to guarantee stable and continuous power provision. Finally, to guard against the increasing dangers of terrorism, the airport police is conducting the Let Everyone Detect, or LED, campaign. Terrorism prevention meetings are held regularly throughout the year, and numerous education and training sessions ensure that the airport is prepared for any potential terrorism attempts. <laughs>